What's up everybody? Furious Pete here, Furious Tux, and if you didn't see on my main channel, I made a video uh, a few days ago about my testicular cancer and getting surgery for it, getting it removed. And I guess within that video, I forgot to mention a few things, um, which was, I said that there was irregularities down there. First of all, before get going into this video, um, there may be some graphic talk. Um, when I'm talking right now because I'm just going to be open about everything um, so that if you are a youngster and you shouldn't be listening to this then turn it off um, but to be honest you should probably still listen so you know about the stuff in the future but if you can't handle this kind of verbiage turn out this video because I don't want to hear crazy comments um, if I'm talking about my testicles or my balls um, because this is supposed to be a serious video, right? Um, so, uh, I will go ahead and talk about what I saw, because I said, all I saw, all I said during that video was that there were irregularities. So, these irregularities were as follows. Um, one day, I was going to the washroom, um, I was putting my junk back into my pants, um, uh, noticed a little tightness, also noticed, said, I noticed at that point that there was something wrong, there was some irregularity with my ball. And what I mean by that was that one ball, my left testicle, which was removed, was about four times bigger than the other one. I kid you not. It was massive. And it just, it didn't seem right. Um, along with it being way, way bigger, it was very, very firm. Um, that is also another sign uh, that a mass has formed when you a testicle is supposed to be really soft uh, or not soft but it's supposed to have a little bit of a squishy feel to it um, if it becomes hard that means that there's no liquid inside there's no um, there's no uh, semen or there's no uh, it, if it was supposed to be an actual um, trauma to the actual testicle, there would actually be water that built up inside and so therefore there would be a, a little bit of softness to it, it wouldn't be super hard as it was. And so that, that was what my symptoms were, there was a big ball um, and it was very very firm and so it just it simply got in the way and everything like that. I couldn't wear actually uh, my regular jeans that I was wearing that were I guess a little tighter than, than all my, I had to wear basically a pair of jeans that I, I'm still wearing that pair. Well, I can, I guess, actually nowadays I can wear that other pair of jeans. But I was wearing a pair of jeans, you know, that if you wear them for a week or two, they get stretched out and everything like that. So they actually, um, that's the kind of pair of jeans that I was wa wearing all the time. I just couldn't wear a freshly washed pair of jeans because it was just too tight, too painful right there. Now that is apparently a very common way of discovering it. But that is actually one of those times where it's almost, it's almost too late. It's not necessarily too late, but you can discover things much, much earlier than I did. So I, I probably had something building up for quite some time already. I don't know how long. Doctors can't really tell me exactly how long. Um, I actually have a, a meeting about a biopsy on my left testicle in about a week. Um, so maybe I can find out more information. But what you're actually looking for is when you're looking at that there's obviously information online that you can read um, but what you're looking for is any kind of bumps and it's supposed to be the testicle is supposed to be smooth all the way around but if there's big bumps that's that's when you have to worry that's when you should see a doctor any kind of irregularities like that you should see a doctor it doesn't necessarily have to be cancer so that is obviously a good thing you know it could be there could be, obviously, if it's swollen, like I said, it could have been trauma, you know, you could have hit it somehow, um, which, which happens, it just happens. Um, and it can swell up with water and it can, there's just many ways of um, making it a normal size again. Uh, I'm not gonna get into that, I'm not a medical expert, so I can't really actually tell you exactly how that's done, but because we're actually not even focusing on that. Another symptom can be that you start having uh, pain in your abdominal area, uh, just just down here, or your scrotum. So when testicular cancer actually spreads from a testicle, it goes into your lymph nodes, um, and therefore you can also feel pain and have back pain. Um, so as long as your as well as your front and your back, um, you can also feel a lot of heaviness. 
Um, basically, if the ball just gets really heavy, um, like they don't have to hang exactly the same down there. But if one starts hanging a lot, lot more, that's when you want to, you know, raise concern and see someone. Um, another one is actually uh, it's breast enlargement. Um, just irregular breast enlargement, like something you don't expect. Um, that can be different reasons, but just chemicals in the, your blood uh, work change as um, as you know cancer develops. Uh, different tumor markers within your body uh, will change. Uh, that is one of the things that they noticed within my blood work at the start was the fact that um, there's a certain level uh, of HCG blood work um, that's supposed to be basically at a level below two. Um, in a male, and mine were at 19, and um, basically it just it showed that there were tumor markers within that blood. So that's what I'm going to be monitoring over the next uh, few years, probably. I don't know how long, but I'm going to be monitoring monitoring that very closely in the next few months um, to make sure that those actually go down, because that is the biggest concern. Um, you know that those markers are actually really high when somebody's actually pregnant. So, uh, which is just funny. So I was either, I either had testicular cancer or I was pregnant. Um, had to joke around a little bit about it. But anyways, um, that is just a video that I, I felt that was needed to be, it, I needed to make that simply because I forgot about this one detail um, within the video that I did, the main channel video, which I'm glad is speaking to a lot of people. Um, I hope you guys can share it because it just, a lot of people watching that video were just like, oh, I never thought to look down there. And to be honest, I didn't really either until I, until there was a real big problem, until, you know, I started hitting something. I was not feeling my nuts or anything like that. You know, that is, that is something that I should have been doing. That is something I should do. And um, I feel like a lot of people can just prevent this or prevent it from getting further very fast. And it's, it's all about just catching it early and getting rid of it. Because we can all live with one ball. Apparently the other ball is going to start producing a lot more testosterone. Balance things out. And, you know, we can still have kids. Still build muscle. Still be ourselves. So, that's alright, guys. Um, yeah. Just a little video for you guys. Hopefully that cleared some stuff up for those that were confused. Thanks for being part of this and uh, supporting me for the last few days. Your, your support has been just beyond overwhelming. Um, like I said, I've been saying in my vlogs, trying to turn something negative into the positive or trying to create something positive from negative news and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can make a change one day at a time. Catch you guys later. Stay sexy, stay hungry, and of course get laid, my friends. Good morning, look at the weather. It's not gloomy and nasty like it was yesterday morning, so therefore we can wake up and start this day. How you guys doing? Doing good. That's good. I'm waking up. Gonna edit yesterday's vlog. Put that 